This is a creative outlet, 100%. There's, there's machinery and systems and technical stuff that goes into it, but it all has to start with some sort of idea. And just like music where there's nine notes and some sharps and flats, there's only so much out there. And we've been using you know, chicken for thousands of years now, yet we still try to get innovative and unique and create something you know, with those same nine notes. A lot of people in this industry you know, didn't go there by choice. It just was something to do and all of a sudden you realize, wow, this is fun, I might be good at it, I'm going to work on that. And it's still, I think, one of the real few industries that you can come from any background, you can come from prison, you can come from rich family, poor family, or anywhere in between. If you want to do it and you work hard at it and you pay attention and you learn from somebody, you can do it without any school, without any dollars spent and, and get, get to where you want to go. I really believe that. Inspiring words from Chef Matt Gordon, who's best known for Urban Solace in North Park and Solace in the Moonlight Lounge in Encinitas. And now it's time to talk about his new joint, Sea and Smoke, Flower Hill Promenade in Del Mar. I was on a vacation last year in Mexico City, and I got an email from one of the managers of this guy that owned this mall, you know, had eaten at the restaurant and wanted to talk to me. And I waited about three weeks to call him back because I really wasn't looking. And one night, he'd also left me a handwritten note, and one night I just called him on a whim. And I came down and looked at it, and within a couple minutes we knew it was going to happen. Really? It just had the right, you know, and it was a crazy old, you know, abandoned restaurant. It had been dark for about eight months at that point. You know, I think within a couple minutes we knew it was going to be not a solace restaurant, and we had some real specific ideas for it real quick, and that's what we pursued. We actually wrote a menu before we signed a lease, which is really not how I operate usually. The idea of it is really, you know, based on what's, uh, you know, what's called a brasserie, which is, you know, in the in the French world, which really does sort of direct all of restaurant life and cuisine and culinary terms and cooking technique. You know, bistros are small, family-run, you know, dinner dinner more type oriented spots, and a brasserie is really an all-day affair breakfast, lunch, dinner, cocktails at night. It's usually larger, open, bright feeling space. Really that kind of metropolitan thing. And that we really felt and saw that in this space, even though it was very dark and closed in with the previous restaurant that was here. Enough talk about the restaurant, Chef Matt. It's time to do some eating. Signature dishes here at Sea and Smoke include the Croquet Madame. Check out this amazing sandwich with house-made brioche, natural ham from Pendleton, Oregon, Mornay sauce, all served open face. Next, we have the Salmon Tartine with house-made ricotta or ricotta, if you prefer. It's served on house-made open face bread, topped with a cured sockeye salmon, preserved lemon, and arugula pesto. Up next, check this one out. We've got the blackened, and I'm doing hand quotes behind the scenes, yellowtail crudo. And why the hand quotes? Because it's not actually blackened or seared, it's rolled in jalapeno ash, along with some fresh lime, ikama, and it's all presented on compressed watermelon. Amazing. Finally, one of my absolute favorites, Pacific mussels, garlic, cilantro, Fresno chilies, and of course, some garlic bread to complement on the side. Needless to say, the food was amazing at Sea and Smoke, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know what I liked more, eating the food or sitting down with Chef Matt Gordon. That guy is downed and definitely deserves to be supported here in San Diego.